Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at comparing strings. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to come down here uh, under our main sub, and we're going to create a couple variables. We're going to start off by creating a string. So we'll just call it user string as string, and we'll set it equal to nothing. And then we'll declare another string computer string as string and we'll set that one equal to on live gamer so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna prompt the user to enter in a string so console dot right line please enter a string so then we're just gonna get what they type in So now that we have what they typed in, we're going to use the string.compare function. So we're going to console.writeLine, and we're just going to type string.compare, and we're going, to, we're going to compare user string to computer string. So that is our two arguments for our string.compare. The first one is the string that we're going to con that we're going to compare to the first string um, so here if you don't understand what that means I'll go ahead and show you so then we'll do console dot read line so now if we run this you can see that if I type on live gamer and then add an s it's going to give me the value of one because it is comparing this string to the second string. Now if we replace these and put it backwards, we're going to get the value of negative one. You can see right there that it gives us negative one because in instead of comparing the string that they gave us to the first string, we're comparing the first string to the string that they gave us. So uh, that might be a little confusing but um, you can mess around with that if you want. And now we can also make this case insensitive. So even if they make the whole thing in capital letters, comparing it to this right here is going to give us a value of zero. So I'll show you how to do this. We're just going to type user string and we're going to compare that to computer string. And then for our third argument, it's got ignore case as boolean right here. And we're just going to type true. So now they can type it any way they want. They can type it all caps, all lowercase. They can switch off between caps and lowercase, whatever they want to do, and uh, it'll still give us a correct value. So if I type, if I type it like this, it's going to give us a value of zero because it compares it case insensitive and it just checks to see if these are the same as on live gamer so um, that was a pretty simple tutorial um, you can use this for a bunch of different things in your programs um, go ahead and play around with it uh, get used to it and once you're done with that go ahead and move on to the next tutorial